welcome back to the channel if you're new subscribe if you want to <laughs> um and if not i do appreciate my subscribers and uh the comments but today we're going to put in i was just putting uh changing the, the tires over you know but with uh winter tires and i noticed that this is a, a bad bearing so i'm going to attempt now to put on put in a, a new bearing so thank god i didn't have a, too much trouble with this bearing i put one in the other car um and i used the puller and i just tore all the guts out of it uh this one came off with a fight but you know it finally come off without it having to use the puller so um what i'm gonna do is just take this ring out and try and yeah she's she's bad i don't know if you can see that on the camera eh? but you see how that moves and that's and that's about how much play i had so uh not real bad but you know since you're at it why not do it right or try <laughs> this could be a video on uh, how to muck it up anyway guys uh when i get this out and get my setup uh i'll be right back it's a day later and uh i give up on this thing i've changed a few of them before in my life uh it's not you know what i mean but um this one went wrong the bearing the how to race Uh, anyway, back here, uh, yeah, the header race got stuck into the drum. Well, this one here come all in one piece, right? So I tried everything getting this out. And as you see here, there's a, a lip. The bearing starts about right there where my finger is. Um, there's a lip here. You know similar similar to this but in there and the size of the bearing so the bearing comes so you can't put anything in here to you know i can't use my press right i can't use my press because the bearing is behind a lip it's got to come out this way out y'all out here so I tried, you know, I got the Dremel out and, uh, you know, I slice a piece and broke up some of it, but, oh, crap, man, what a job. So, you know, a hundred bucks, right? It pisses me off because, I mean, it, the, anywho, here comes the man the, the man an hour so got a new one of course it's in millimeters it's eight inches maximum just you know i'll never have to worry about that i don't think but uh, yeah it comes with the wheel bearing and the four studs and i don't know what the number the bearing is but um Anywho, this is the one that's going back on the car. Should be simple, wish me luck, because here lately I can't I can't fart without having complications. Uh anywho, too bad uh, I was open the, the film putting in the bearing, but uh what you you would do is if you're lucky just hate her, you know them and uh you go out with a big hammer and you whack it. You know, put a screwdriver or something in the air. But uh, it, it didn't work no matter what I did. Now, looking back at it, I should have, right in the center, you see, in the center of the bearing. Now, this one here has two, two, uh, come here, two bearings, right? There's one on the outside, one on the inside. So, in this, in this, out of the race there's 
a groove and then it ramps up and then a groove right well that's the thickest part of the the bearing so you would just cut make sure you cut through that part and usually you never have a problem but this one is original by the way so it's 13 14 years old yeah 13 years old so uh you know can't complain but yeah so i knocked out studs i'll keep them you know not too bad anywho but yeah so that's what you do and then you just i got a press you can whack them in with a hammer but uh, i got that cheap old in the red there to the left i got a cheap uh press so what you would do you keep your no but you have to have a socket i forget what it is one and seven eighths um uh yeah you'll find that out uh, try to get a socket or a piece of pipe something strong that you can uh you know because it's got to go in this way so you'll put your bearing there and try to get it as straight and you just slightly whack it if you're doing it that way with a piece of board on top or something and uh i i find those thick way everybody got their tricks but uh you but with the press it's better i think um, you just, you know, I had a outer bearing, but, uh, the first time it was a socket, put your socket on top of your bearing that fits perfectly on the outer race. You don't want to push in on the center race. Uh, you, you know, you want to push in on the outer race and, uh, yeah, just crank her in until she stops. Put your C-clip. Uh, yeah, put your C-clip in the groove on oh in there the groove right in there you know and you stick it back on the car anyway guys that's pretty much i i got a new uh new drum so there is no film about uh replacing the uh the bearing so that's it okay folks I put on the new uh, the new hub and everything. Only took literally six seven minutes. <laughs> but um, this is the old bearing. See how it happens? You always get stuff done when you already have a replacement. But what I did, you can see how bad that bearing is, right? Just chewed to bugger shit. But anyway, uh, I should have. I had the thought in the beginning when it wouldn't come out to weld it's hard to get at but would i use a stick welder um weld a, a bead right weld a bead it don't look like it now because i've been pounding on it but uh weld a bead right along the center as hot as you can go i put the welder up on max mad max and weld the center try to closest to the center as you can get because i figured it would eat up the metal right and you could um you could hear it like cracking you know what i mean like ice but um real hot went around and um didn't start beating on it and uh phew, about 10 minutes and it, it was out now this is euchred i mean i don't know if you can see the uh get the light on a certain angle you can see it's all chewed up from the the wizard wheel right but i suppose if you you had to you could sand that down smooth and put the bearing in as long as it's not too big for the bearing right well you think if you had to, on a, you know, not everybody can just throw out some money for parts, but uh, I think you could sand it down and reuse it until you got a new one. Anywho, and uh, yeah, I had every tool, it's not bad now, but I had every tool I had almost. Hair hammers, I got all my hair hammer uh, chisels and stuff, they're gone.
beat every bit to pieces trying to get this out. I just couldn't believe it. I even I even made a this one done well until it didn't. But uh, this is an old railway spike. <laughs> so I sharp that out. I use my chisels. Every chisel I got. It's, look, where is it? Get in the frame here. Oh. Focus. Yeah. So that used to be a, a nice point on that. That's gone. Oh, man. Oh, man. This one here. That's gone. I, unbelievable how hard that is. Material. Anywho. Thanks guys and see you on the next one.